Yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome back to AG Like Gaming. And today we is back at like a bad habit with another banger. And today, your boy is back. We back. And today is Spooky Scary Friday. If you don't know what Spooky Scary Friday is, Spooky Scary Friday is one of them days that everybody, as a, we are, as a community, we come all everybody to come together. We grab our snacks. We grab juice. We grab whatever we gotta grab. We get in a dark room or in a light room, and we watch some spooky, scary horror animations videos. Okay, spooky, scary story time videos. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Before we get, before we get straight into it, don't forget to smash the like button on this video. Don't forget to smash the like button. It's free. It's free. Look, it's free. So. On on uh smash the like button on this video. Not not on his video, on on my video. Smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. If you want to, um, if you want to sus go subscribe to him too. This is his channel. Uh, you can go subscribe to him. Subscribe to me. Go subscribe to him. And if you want, you feel me. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. First story. I've always loved the Scream movies. Ever since I was a kid. The first Scream movie, the, the final, not the final, the Scream movie that I watched. I mean, I think they can continue doing this, the Scream movies like 2025, 2026. They can continue doing this, the spooky. They can continue doing the Scream movies because the Scream movie of this year. I mean, it was cool. I mean, they... I was too excited for it. It was they make it too hype. I didn't go to the movie doors to watch the the movie because you gotta scream so the movie starts. I'm not doing that, you feel me? So I watched it online. The movie was decent, but I think other scream movies like one, two, three, four like uh, not four. Like the one, two, three. What scream movie was the Last one that just came out. Let me, let me see. My, my bad, yo, my bad. Scream 6. Okay. Scream 6 was alright, okay? It was, it was mid, it was middle, it was middle. But Scream 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those screams was really good. I'm not gonna, I like those really good. Those are really good. But the Scream that 2023, the Scream 6, it was alright. It was not the best scream, but it was alright, you feel me? It was good. It was not that bad, though. I always thought they were a fun concept that everybody took too seriously. But not after what happened a week ago. I'll never watch those movies again. My date and I were headed to the movies. Windows down, music... Oh. I'm not gonna lie, she got a strong guy. Like, you say, like, he got a strong chin, too. But, like, look her chin, bro. Oddly. Music playing loudly. It was a night to remember. I pulled into a parking space and helped. Scar, okay. I see you. I see you, my boy. As we walked into the theater. And it's we nighttime. To watch a horror movie. Scream, of course. I'll keep. I'll keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. Also, I like movie theaters and I don't like movie theaters at the same time. I just keep it in a buck. Um, there's a reason I don't like it, and there's a reason I like it, but we don't have that much time, so we gotta get straight. This video is 18 minutes long, so I cannot be doing this shit. I, I gotta, we gotta keep going. The lights were dimmed and people had taken their seats. Suddenly, I felt Steph stiffen beside me. I just saw someone in a scream mask lurking behind us. Don't be like that, Steph. You're just getting scared and you want to leave. No, seriously. There's a guy in a scream mask right behind you, Johnny. Turn around. I mean, I mean, if it, if it was, I don't know which screen movie they're watching, because back in the day, they didn't have all the screen masks. The 2023 screen movie, they have all like, like a ghost face mask at every like, every chair. So everybody have a ghost face mask. So if there's a killer in there, you don't know who is it because everybody have a ghost face mask on. So, but it, I think this is not like 2023 screen. So maybe they didn't have masks on. So. Somebody have a mask on, that is kind of suspicious. Maybe he's a fan, but I would take that. I don't know. Around. Come on. Forget it, Steph. You're not going to trick me. I can't with you. <laughs> she laughed and seemed to give up on getting me to turn around. 
As the movie began, however, I don't know. I couldn't help but turn around a bit just to see what Steph was talking about in the top row of the theater. Okay, listen, listen, listen. If you got a screen mask on and a fake knife, okay, it's cool, it's good. You just, you just a fan. But if you have a screen mask on, the whole costume, and you got a real knife, that's a problem right there. I mean, you cannot stay in the movies. You can't scream because they're gonna poke your poke the shit out of you. Now that people are gonna run around, they're gonna try to kill everyone to like hide the evidence. So the thing you have to do, you just have to walk out there. I don't know what to do. If I if I was him, I don't know what to do. If I had my gun with me, got my Glock, maybe I can do something. But yeah, I mean, just a knife, bro. Come on, bro. This is a big ass knife. A big ass knife. A scream outfit and holding a large silver knife. You see, no, that that's a problem. That's a problem. And he's looking your way. That means either that's the real killer that they're making the movies about, and he's still alive. Or the somebody's that's a real fan, and he's gonna poke you up. So y'all gotta, y'all gotta move fast, bro. I'm the hairs lie. on the back of my neck stood up as I looked at him. Oh. He was looking straight at us oh. and laughing. <laughs> you see, that's when shit gets wicked. You need to like, you got a gun, you got whatever. If you don't got a gun or anything, get the fuck out of there. Go to security. Go to police. You're not, you're not a snitch. You just go to police. So you can be secured, so you're safe, okay? They can walk you to your car, you can get in your car, you can go home. But I think he knows how to drive too, so... I, I don't know, just go to security, you're fine. If this ever happens to you. Like police. I started laughing as I looked at him. I couldn't help it. <laughs> I turned to Steph and whispered to her. Come on, Steph, that's just a cosplayer. You know, a fan of the movie. A cop? With a real knife? And with a full costume? That's not a cosplay, bro. It was a cosplay, maybe, if he had a fake knife, plastic knife, but he got a real knife. You dummy. Player. Yeah, it's someone who dresses up as a character they really like. You know, nerd stuff. He's about as dangerous as a D&D &D player. No. Oh, Suddenly, no, no. we heard screams coming from the back row. That's how loud is this, bro. She's gonna get wicked real fast. We both spun around and saw a bloody body lying on the floor, and the man in the scream mask standing right next to it, his knife covered in blood. Blood. No, I'll keep it a bean. I'll keep it a bean. Killing people for no reason. You're a psychopath. You weird. You weird though. So whatever happens to you, deserve it. But. You have to have a reason if you want to kill somebody or have to you have to you want to beat up somebody up okay or you want to do anything you have to have a reason like what they did to you so you want to do that that's all i'm saying he's killing people for no reason that's really like that's he's a psychopath he's it's crazy and that's I not fine i jumped out of my seat and grabbed steph's hand and we ran towards the exit we reached the door but it was locked we shouted for help, but all we heard were screams coming from outside. So it's not only him? Bro, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll keep it a buck. All the way 100, which are a buck 50. A buck 50? What's that? I don't know what I just said. What's a buck 50? I'm just making up words. Okay. I'll keep it 100% with you. That's better. I'll keep it 100% with y'all, okay? I'm not letting nobody kill me with a knife. I'm just keeping it 100. I'm not, you know, you, if you have to kill me, you have to have a gun on good aim. You cannot kill me with a knife, bro. That's embarrassing. I cannot let you, like, have, put a screen mask on, on custom, or you have a silver knife on trying to kill me. You can't kill me with a knife, bro. You get you getting fucked up. I'm, you got you got me fucked up. I'm fucking you up. Pause. No pause. You're not killing me with a knife. That's what I'm saying, bro. You have to have a bare weapon of a knife. Suddenly, the door opened, but it wasn't someone who had come to help us. It was another man wearing a screen mask. We ran back up the stairs and barricaded ourselves in the projection room. What's going on, Johnny? 
What's happening? I don't I'll keep it a bug with you, bro. I'll keep it a bug with you. If you're walking in the street, you also somebody following you. Okay, it's maybe you're up. You're trying to run the ones. With no knife, no gun, no brass knuckles. He's just trying to, he's just bare hand trying to run the ones. Or he's a killer. He just wanna kill you with a knife. He got the only knife. He don't got no brass knuckles, no gun. He just got a knife. You know what you should do? You got a belt, letter belt on you. Bro, letter belt is long range weapon. If you don't, didn't, if you don't know, now you know. It's no racist shit, okay, in this channel. So, in this channel, nobody's racist, nothing like that. You feel me? But I'm saying, if you have a belt, that's a good self defense stuff. It doesn't matter what color you are. If you have a belt, bro, that's good self defense stuff. Belt is long range. Okay, and you can actually set the fence. If I was them and I had a belt on, but it come through. But you don't need to let them grab the belt, okay? Because you can get your belt, it's gonna be hard to get a belt. So be careful. But belt is long range weapon, so you can use it, okay? No step, just help me put this chair in front of the door. We heard a loud crash followed by several bangs on the door. Man with the 911, you fucks. First of all, this guy is dumb as fuck. This is the shit. You need to. This is probably a closet or some shit like that. Push this over. Boom. No way he's. When there's a lot of stuff in it, in his metal, no way he's getting in there. That's first of all. Second of all, call 911. There's nobody that cut the, all the wires out. Call 911. Okay. If you don't know how. If, you, if they cut all the wires. I mean, you fucked. You have to pull out the belt, or, or else, like. The knife had broken down the door and was advancing on us. Suddenly, a sharp blade flew through the air and cut Steph's throat open. No fucking way. No, no way. No way. No way. His aim is that good. Or no way. When somebody's throwing a knife at me, I'm gonna stand still. You fucking stupid. Why I trained wrestling? I know it's not about me, but I'm saying. Like I did wrestling for one year. I've been training since 11th grade. I've been throwing this hammer since I was a kid, since first grade, since elementary. And I know how to self defend, shoot, do whatever, do everything. I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna stand still when somebody throws a knife at me. What the fuck? That's crazy. I screamed and ran to her, tears streaming from my eyes. Oh! Oh, God! But before I could do anything, there was another blade coming at me. I dodged it and ran out of the Weave. window. Good stuff. I ran out of the theater, ignoring the body strewn over the floor as I did. What I had to escape. Is this is true horror story. Is this true horror story? Okay, now I got some. There's now I got some. Now he's throwing knives. This is true horror story. Now I got some. You feel me? I got chills. What is you talking about? Is it true? To my car and turn the key to start. I drove right to the nearest police station and reported what had happened. The police came to investigate, and when they got there, the theater was empty. All that remained were the bodies of Steph and the other people there. Come with us, son. We have some questions for you. What? For me? What do you want me to say? We just have to make sure you didn't have any motive. You have the right to remain silent. I was taken away, my heart racing as they interrogated me. Eventually, however, they grudgingly let me go, and I drove away with relief. Still, I felt a cold, piercing pain in my heart as I thought of Steph. As I was driving home, I realized there was a way to solve this mystery. Security footage. Wow. If the killer had been caught on camera, he could finally be brought to justice. Yes, I can get them. I can get revenge. My heart raced with excitement, but then quickly turned to terror as I saw a car with dark windows well, I told you I stay with police. Oh shit, now she's about to get really wicked. Okay. Following me. I stepped on the gas and tried to lose them. And I was almost safe when suddenly I felt a bump behind me. Oh, there was fuck. no use. They had caught up with me. Go I crashed cops. the car and tried to make a run for it, but I slipped and fell. Are you fucking stupid? Are you stupid? Why you don't go to cops again? 
fuck is you crying? How you crash? You fucking dumb fuck. The car is nowhere near you. How you crash? Instead, okay, bro. As I turned around, now you deserve it. I bro. saw another man in a scream mask walking towards me. Oh this shit! The, I thought, until out of nowhere, a police car appeared. Get down! This is the police. The man in the scream mask turned and began to run, but the police were quick. He was immediately tackled and arrested. Apparently, the police thought the killer would want to finish the job. And they were right, I guess. Still, Thanks, no. there's something that's been bugging me. And I'm not really sure if I'll ever get over it. The killer they caught was a nasty man. A serial killer who had been inspired by the Scream movies and had been terrorizing movie Thanks, theaters around no. the country. Steph and all of those people in the theater are dead because some maniac wanted oh to live out his I own got horror. Chills. Don't do that to me, I can't baby. Help but feel guilty. I'll never watch a scream movie again. That's not the only thing that's been bugging me, though. And the other thing is even scarier. The police did manage to apprehend the man in the scream mask, but there were two at the theater. And if the man had wanted to finish the job. Oof. Oh. What the fuck? You guys really getting wicked. You guys really getting wicked, Miho. Oh my gosh, I got chills all over my body. Baby. What the fuck? Now she's getting wicked. I forgot about the second one. Then what about the other one? I'm petrified yeah. at the thought of them still out there. Waiting for the next opportunity. Oh, hey! Still after me, trying to finish the job. Here's one thing you need to do before buying anything online: don't spend another dime on Amazon until you. The first story was a fucking amazing. That was the best animation, best storytelling, best everything I watched. I did good that I subscribed to him. I'm not gonna cap. Yeah, if you watch this much or you got to this part of this video, just just subscribe. Okay, just subscribe and leave a like on this video if you got this far. So without further, let's get back straight to it. Story two, story one. Tell me how you feel about the story one. Comment down below. But bro, how I had chills, bro. I'm not gonna cap. If that still like you meant you meant to tell me they arrest the guy, but there's another screen. Until this day, he's following you. That's crazy. What the fuck? I recently went to watch Scream 6 alone. I booked a corner seat with an... Stop. No way. No way. It's a true horror story because Scream 6 is 2023, baby. Stop playing with me. Scream 6 is 2023. I know. I know my screams, bro. I know my shit, bro. Not shit. I know my things, bro. Like, Scream is 2026. Scream 6. You mean to say me this happened just now? 2023, this happened just now. Okay. Orange. No, I should have got it. Okay, it was a late night show, so there was a handful of people in the movie theater. My eyes were hooked on the screen when I saw this girl sitting in the same row. Ugh. She was highly okay. overweight and had a tub of popcorn on her lap. The way she was eating, it gave me yuck. Her mouth opened into a black hole and she tossed thousands of popcorns in each bite. Some popcorn fell on her lap, some on her stained t-shirt. A few okay. were even hanging on her locks, but nothing stopped her from eating. Suddenly, a skinny man- I'll keep it a bug. I'll keep it a bug with you. I'll keep it a bug. I'll keep it a hundred with you. If you're fat, if you're overweight, you're not in the shape. Okay, bro. Okay. We love everyone. Everybody is their own people. You feel me? But like, bro, what the fuck is she doing, bro? Like, you know, I'm I'm fit, I'm in shape, but I eat a lot. You feel me? But like, bro, what the fuck is she doing, bro? That's not normal, bro. Not gonna care. Man came and sat beside her. And this is when things started okay, to get weirder. The skinny stop. dude looked like a stick beside a blob of flesh. Together, they were unimaginable, and so was stop. their conversation. Do you want more? 
Yes, yes, give me more. But it won't be. F Bitch, what the fuck? What's the boy, bro? I keep it above you. If I'm in the bed and I'm hearing the bitch from the back or anything like that, and she, they give me more just like that, I'm stopping fucking and I'm, I'm hopping out of there, bro. I'm sorry. Easy words you. This family friendly child, but I gotta keep it a buck with you, bro. If, if I'm with my girl, and she, or I'm on my first day, and she, girl says like that, bro, I love thick women too. You feel me? All kind of shape, woman. But like, bro, if you say like that, no, I'm out of there, bro. Okay, for wrong with you. Oh, what the fuck? Free. I will do anything. Um, uh, but I don't think you'll be able to do that. The girl started stomping her feet what like a nine-year-old. No, I can. I will just feed me. A cruel smile appeared on the man's face. He took out a candy bar from his pocket and started swinging it in front of the girl's face. The moment the girl saw it, her eyes went wide. Her mouth started to drool. She took out her tongue and started, started panting like a dog. What the hell is happening with these two? I was feeling extremely un- Why security is not there? Like security, do your job bro. Get, get them to get the fuck up out of there. Right now. Keep it in book. Stop them. Comfortable. Yet, couldn't help but watch them. The man leaned onto her and I guess he kissed her. Once he- Oh, thanks. He was he done, fucking... he gave her the candy bar. The girl ate it like a hungry oh. walrus. Okay, stop. It was clear okay. to me that this man was taking advantage of the girl using her weakness for food. During the interval, they both got up, and the man said, Let's go somewhere where we can be alone. Will there be food? Yes. Yes. Just come. They got up to leave, and I... Well, if you're trying to fuck, I'm sorry. First of all, if you're trying to fuck, I'm sorry, bro. I told that twice, but like... You're gonna eat your dick. You're not in a good way. You're gonna bite that shit off. I'm just keeping it a fuck. I decided to follow them. I wanted to help the girl if the man gave her any- Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Why are you following them? Now you deserve it, bro. You're such a bitch, such a whole ass up. trouble. I watched them walk to the parking lot. The man and the girl got into a red pickup van and drove away. I was behind them in my scooter. Are you fucking dumb? you asking for smoke. You want smoke. You're asking to die. You, 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 you want to die. You want to die. I'm just keeping it a buck, bro. What the fuck is you talk about? You following them? You behind them? What the fuck? Bro? Maintaining a safe distance. After five no, minutes, it. they stopped near a graveyard. Really, a graveyard? The skinny dude is a hell of a creep. It took time for the girl to get down from the car. I heard the man yell, "Come on, move your heap of flesh faster!" They entered the graveyard. I parked my scooter behind a bush and followed them. The man sat down under a tree and asked the girl to sit. I'm giving it a bug. The man, he, he looks like this, like, he's too skinny, so he legs up, can I, like, he can't take that many punches, so he's coming at you. He's gonna run once, he's trying to run once, run the once, because you hit him three times, he's down and out. No cap. I can't tell about that, about the girl. Him, but for the first time, she refused him. Where are my chicken nuggets? You said you had chicken nuggets. I said you'll get it once you make me happy. No! Give me my chicken nuggets first! The man lost his temper. I didn't bring such a loser like you here to just feed your pathetic self. Now sit here and do what you're supposed to. I'm leaving. You are mean. She turned to leave, but the man grabbed her hand. She pushed him away and the dude fell like a twig. Realizing the girl is stronger than him, he got furious. He grabbed a stone from the ground and came at her. I mean, look. Don't be like... Don't be like... You feel me? Like, that's what's gonna happen. Are you, like, impressed? Like, I'll kill impressed? you, you witch! I couldn't remain quiet anymore. I jumped from the bush. You see? You see? You see? Now you're gonna get that ass. screaming. Amy! He's behind you! What happened next was not planned. Amy turned back and grabbed the man's arm with which he was holding the stone. Then she started twisting it. 
got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. I'm out of there right now. I'm just hopping the fucking my scooter. Uh, driving the 150. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Yeah, yeah, she shouldn't do that because she got more fat on her. She got more muscle on her. And that made it a tweak, so he's gonna like break. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> do you know what my favorite sound is? Fuck no. Oh, hey, hex no. Don't try to crack the man's hands, bro. Ah, let me go! Leave me, you giant! The sound of bones cracking. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. What the fuck? I don't mean, understand animation, but what the fuck? That's a twist. Amy broke his arm, and the man. Ooh, baby. What the fuck is going on? When they say everything's good in the hood, not everything is good in the hood. What the fuck is going on, boy? He, he just, like. He just broke your shit. He just twist your shit. What the fuck? And let out a spine chill like scream. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you bro oh shit that, that's good. He fell to the ground with terror He's not in his eyes. He looked at me. Who who are you? How do you know her? If a scammer gets on your system, they're gonna live on there. They'll go through things like your photos, on your browser, your email. This is when I couldn't pretend anymore. I mean He's about to die anyway, so it would be wrong to lie to a dying man. I grinned and took out a big lollipop from my pocket. I looked at Amy and said, You know what to do next, sis? Do you want my help? Is that for me? I don't know. Do you want it? I do. I do. What the fuck is going on? I do. Her tongue came out just like a loyal pet dog, and she began to drool. What is wrong with you two? She's your sister? I slapped the man hard on his right cheek. Oh, so now something is wrong with us? What about you, you skinny freak? What was in your mind when you agreed to go on a movie date with a giant, huh? You're so pathetic that you prey on girls like her, thinking she will fall into your lap because she would have no self-esteem? Isn't that what you thought? Please, let me go, I'll never- It's too late for you now, Mr. Slenderman! That was a diss, actually, that was this. Where's this first of all? He roasts the Shayaju. That's first of all. Not Shayaju, he just roasts just a little bit, like little tickles of roast on your ass. Ass. Not on your ass, but look. You mean to say you're her brother? Okay, hold up, what the fuck's going on? I threw on? the lollipop at Amy and she grabbed it with her teeth. Amy! Put him to sleep. I'll check his car for valuables we can sell tomorrow. Three robberies in one week. Not bad. If you keep helping me like this, I promise I'll buy you the biggest fridge in the world. Oh, heck no. What the fuck? And fill it with all your favorite foods. I will help you. I want to help. Amy shifted her burning eyes to the man. The man started to crawl back, screaming for help. No, no, please, let me go, please, no! I came back to the red pickup van and made everything mine. The man's scream faded into the dark sky and Amy came back. Her clothes were stained in blood, but her entire attention was on the lollipop. I put my little sister in the passenger seat and left the scooter behind the bush. It was also stolen, so <laughs> no harm. As we drove into the empty highway, Amy asked, Will we go back to the same movie theater tomorrow? I caressed her cheek and nodded yes. That that story was kind of weird. I'm not like, that was weird. I don't know how I feel about that, bro. I don't really know. Comment down below how y'all feel about the story, too. Not in the cab, bro. Wow, that was scary! Hi, my name is Alex, and that video you just saw wasn't just from a random haunted movie theater. It's the place that just hired me. It's no coincidence that I got a job there. I'm a big fan of the paranormal, and that place is known to be haunted, so no one wants to take the vacancy. 
I, for one, am a big fan of the occult, so I couldn't pass up that opportunity. You could say that my first day on the job was almost my I mean, last, you're stupid. as the day didn't start off well at all. I mean, my mind is stupid. That day I was cleaning the aisles of the cinema when I heard a voice calling me from one of the rooms. Alex. 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 No. My first half hour at work, and I was already being called by a spirit. I took out my cell phone and started filming. At that moment, I was very scared. I mean, look, I mean, look, 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 good YouTube content is good, bro. But I will never go this far for YouTube. For a video, not, not for YouTube, for a video, I will never go this far. I don't, I don't know. Maybe if I reach 1,000 subscribers, maybe I'll do some 100,000. Like, come on, bro. Scared. You're talking you know, with every step I took towards where that voice. If we hear 1,000, look, look. was coming from. If we reach 1,000 subscribers. To subscribe is one click and it's free. If we reach thousand subscribers, maybe I'm gonna go to a haunted house, okay? Maybe. If we reach it. It made my skin crawl. It's I got thousand closer subscribers. Closer. So much so that I could already feel the breath of the person who was talking to me. I wanted to turn back, but I couldn't regret it now. Boo! Ah! As I looked in the direction of that noise, it wasn't a ghost. It was a co-worker wearing an Annabelle mask. Other employees came out of their hiding places laughing loudly and welcomed me. After that, I wasn't so scared anymore. I continued sweeping alone until suddenly, a voice called me over the loudspeakers telling me to go to the boss's room. When I got there, I found Mikhail, the owner of the movie theater. He seemed to be a great... What did I say if I if we get thousand subscribers on this channel I'm gonna go to that house? Maybe I am. I I have to think about that though. Grumpy and impatient. But if, if we reach thousand subscribers, yeah, we're gonna do something special. For sure. And man, he was furious when I asked him if there were any ghosts, and he told me it was all bullshit. After that, he sent me to clean only the movie theaters, and that's when it all happened. I started cleaning the back okay. room. An empty room. Everything was going well, but something started to bother me. A strange metallic smell was spreading throughout the room. From one second to the next, the temperature dropped so low it was almost unbearable. I looked up and okay. saw a boy in front of me. Had he snuck in? I chased him to the main screen, but in the blink of an eye, the boy had disappeared. Before I could react, the projector in the room turned on and started projecting a black and white movie. Okay. I turned around to see it. My bad, yo, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. My bad for that, bro. I had to go, it was an emergency. For, for sure, for sure. 100% I was an emergency, so I had to go. So we back, we back, we back. We're almost done with the video. Not gonna cap to ya. Here we go. Okay. You gotta hit me with ad, okay. 
I don't know what football game is these. I'm gonna try that. Horrible, uncensored torture. This was definitely a joke in bad taste. I turned around angrily and automatically fell to the floor in terror. Every oh. seat in the room was taken. All the people in the Okay, so now she's really getting wicked. Hold up, let's see. Seats were in black and white, wearing odd clothes. Let's see what's serious. Okay. I'm not gonna roast nobody. We're gonna keep pushing. As if they were part yeah. of an old movie. I walked slowly towards the exit door. All and those people working. were following me with their eyes, with glaring red eyes that shone oh, like lights no. and contrasted with their black and white bodies. When I reached the exit door, I opened it slowly, but something interrupted me. Next to me was a shadowy person almost six feet tall. The Ew. person with a hazmat suit used to combat radiation grabbed me by the hair and dragged me back to the center of the screen where it released me. As I watched, the person in the hazmat suit took off the helmet, and behind it, there was a woman in black and white. But something was wrong with her face. Half of it was burned off. You what could see fuck? pieces of flesh and even oh, a skull. Weird. It was as if she had a horrible acid accident. Without the slightest contemplation, the woman pulled out a small scalpel. Boy, if you don't fucking... Give her the one two piece and chicken nugget in that water motherfucking sprite on her piss or oh, oh, pissed her ass up. This hand will be turned by sexual really motherfucking quick, bro. I'm telling you the truth, bro. Stop playing with me. And threw herself on top of me. When I tried to react, it was too late. The woman was cutting open my belly and pulling No no how you told this story if you're dead? It's not true story. It's, I don't know. It's not Out true, bro. My guts while the audience watched in amazement and applauded. Are you stupid, bro? Are you stupid? She's gonna let her do that to you. And that's crazy, yo. Suddenly, the door opened violently and someone came walking towards where I was. It was my boss. Sir! Run! The ghosts are real! Oh, I was looking for you. Out of nowhere, my boss grabbed the disfigured woman's oh, face. Oh, hey, don't kiss her. Close to his. Uh, oh, man fuck no, bitch. What the fuck? The nasty ass. As he turned around and looked back at me, something in him had changed. His lips were disintegrated, and there was a huge hole in his throat as if he what had swallowed the? lava. What are you doing lying there on the floor? Bleeding to death like a good for nothing? You are useless. I knew I couldn't trust you. I should have never what hired the fuck? you. At that moment, I looked down at my body. I was unharmed. I had no wounds. I stood up and ran to the exit door, where some co-workers tried to scare me again. But this time, when they saw my face, they were the ones who were scared. A few minutes later, I was taken to the boss's office, and there I met him. He was not the same boss I had met before. What he was the much fuck? younger and more caring. He told me that this place is haunted, and that is why the movie theater remains attractive to teenagers. He also told me that this place used to be not a movie theater, but a clandestine place used in the war to torture people. You got Many me fucked wealthy up. Wealthy citizens would come and watch this sitting down as if it was a show. And the man who claimed to be my boss was the owner of the place, while the lady in the house Are you fucking dumb? was his wife, who died in a fire while torturing oh, the boy. Oh, fuck no. From that day on, I strictly followed all the rules of the cinema. I never had to interact with any ghosts, and in case I cleaned up alone and felt cold or had a strange smell, I had to leave. If I followed all the rules, I didn't have to be afraid. This was just another job. Well, you mean to tell me, bro? You mean to me tell me, bro? Y'all didn't tell me that first. Y'all bugging, bro. What the fuck? I'm there, bro. Y'all got me fucked up. You working in the asylum? Shit like that? Hex? No, I'm not doing that. But that was good, bro. Good three horror stories. I'm not gonna cap that. Both of those threes was good animation, good storytelling, and they gave me head of chills. Not gonna even cap to you, bro. And I mean, thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. 
and leave a like on this video if you want more spooky scary friday your family comment down below which you, which was your favorite uh part like story one which was your favorite story one two three what you rated one out of ten you feel me and that's it for today i'm gonna end it right here i hope everybody enjoyed everybody have a good one and peace baby